Hey guys, in this video we are going to be looking at operators in JavaScript. Now, in my previous videos we looked at something like var name equals uh, John. Yeah, like that. We have variable with name John and the value is, no, variable with name name and the value is John. Now, the equal used in this is not like one of those uh, math equals where uh, 5 equals uh, 2 plus 3. It's not that. It's not like left is equal to the right. This means that uh, whatever is written on the right is now going to be the value of the left. So if I say on a document dot right name, it's now going to output John. <clears throat> okay, now this equal sign is called uh, an assignment operator and it's used to assign values to variables, not just variables, but for example to variables. And in this video, we are going to be concentrating on arithmetic operators. It's basically adding values together. So, uh, an easy example is math when you add 5 plus 10 or something. Now, we, there's various uh, arithmetic operators as well as assignment operators in JavaScript. Now, let's have, I don't know, let's make var x, var y, and var z. Now, give it some space, and let's say x equals uh, 10, and y equals 5, and z equals x plus y. Now let's document dot write the variable z. Now if you've been following my videos you can see that we've uh, gave we've inserted three insert we've made we've created three variables x y and z we haven't given it a value yet in here we gave x a value of 10 a number 10 and y a number value of 5. And now z is going to be equals x plus y. Now this plus is simple adding the values. So because those are numbers, it's going to be 10 plus y is 15. So now z has a value of 15. Now let's check it by uh, document using document.write on z. There we go. We have 15. Now let's change this value to 15 plus 10 and save and refresh there we go the number is going to be 25 because 15 plus 10 is 25 now the next thing I'm going to be mostly changing this uh, symbol here so plus is going to be add the next thing is going to be minus now it's pretty simple if you've done elementary school mass but 15 minus 10 is going to be 5 simple <coughs> now the next thing is this star sign now in uh, computers this star sign means multiplication so it's 15 times 10 which is going to be 150 the fourth one is going to be divide let's do 15 divided by 10 which is 1.5 hopefully you see the dot over here now the next thing we're going to do let's change this value to i don't know uh seven or something is called the modulus now i'm not sure if you've done modulus before i think i did it in my a level math or did you see or something along the lines i think a levels but modulus is uses the percentage sign and basically it's uh 15 divided by seven and the answer or the z in this case is going to be the remainder so 15 divided by 7 is 2 remainder 1 so in this case z is going to be 1 if i choose like 6 as a number 15 divided by 6 is 12 remainder 3 so the modulus of x or modulus x modulus y is going to be 3 Okay, that's modulus. It's basically the division remainder. Now, let's delete the y value and let's play around just with x, like so. 
Now, there's uh, this uh, operator called plus plus, which is an increment operator. What this does is adds one to the value, the original value. So we have an x value of 15 and we are going to add one to it. So now z is going to be uh, x z equals x plus plus. Let's check that again. 16. Let's check this. Oh, uh, the reason why uh, z doesn't equal uh, 16 when I use x plus plus and z equals 16 when equals x plus plus z is because when I used z plus plus. Uh, z equals x plus plus uh, z is equals to 15 and then the x uh, the value gets increased by 1 so let's try writing document dot write x here and refresh there we go so now what happens is because z equals x is uh, wrote written first z equals 15 before the increment is used so z is equals to 15 however after that x plus plus is used so when i wrote document dot write x the increment operator uh is activated is used and now x is equal to 16. so let's type in document dot write z no that doesn't that won't work will it now let's do plus plus x. What this does is make the z 16 because before z reads x, x uh, the increment operator is activated and the value of x is increased by 1. Therefore both the document the right z value and the x value is going to be 16. Now similar to the increment value there's going to be a decrement value which is this now similar to the increment what it does is instead of adding one it takes away one so if I used minus minus z both the z value and the x value is going to be 14 14 but then if I used x minus minus the value is going to be 15 and 14 just like the increment because uh, the 15 is assigned to z before the minus minus or the decrement operator is used now, how long is the video? It's 7 minutes 54 seconds. Um, let's quickly do uh, assignment operators in uh, numbers. So we have, let's delete x and this. And what we could do is uh, ver x equals 15 and y equals 10. And then what we could do is x equals y. And uh, let's document right x. Now let's uh, try guessing what this is going to output as a number. The answer is 10. Because what this does, the assignment operator does, is give the value of y to x now x is going to equal the value of y in this case y equals 10 so x was 15 but now because of the assignment operator here x is now equal to y so x is going to equal 10 so when we outputted x with document right it outputs 10 as value now the next thing we are going to be looking at is x plus equals y what this does is if I write the comment, uh, plus equals means x equals x plus y. So what it does is the x value is going to equal the original x value, 15, plus the y value, so 10. So the new x is going to be 25. Now, similarly, uh, there's this. Oops, where's my cursor? There we go. Minus equals. Now minus equals mean x is going the new value of x is going to equal the original x minus y. So the new x is 
x minus equal y is basically 15 minus 10, so x is going to equal 5. A similarly, multiplication means that I'm not going to bother writing comments for each one, but this means that x is going to equal x times y. So 15 times 10 is 150. Now, you see the pattern, but it's exactly the same as what I explained in the, uh, the what was it? The arithmetic operators, but then there's the uh, divide y, which is 15, divided by 10, which is going to be 1.5, and then we have this modulus. So x modulus equals y is going to be 5, yep, 5. And yep, that's gone past 10 minutes, so I'll stop here. This was a quick video on talking about uh, operators in JavaScript, assignment operators, and arithmetic operators uh, in numbers or integers. In my next video, I will be talking about using operators on strings. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.